last Thursday, the Prime Minister, Liz Truss, the new Prime Minister, was contacted by the Queen's private secretary and was given the code, London Bridge is down. The Prime Minister would have known exactly what that meant. Straight away, she would have known that the Queen had passed away. Since then, Operation London Bridge has been in force in London and London has been changing daily. So I'm just gonna do a quick video around all the parts of London that basically don't look the same. Huge preparations that have been rehearsed for decades are now coming to fruition. And I'm gonna show you what's happening and how London is a different London this week. So if you're thinking of coming down to pay your respects at Buckingham Palace, there is um, a system of walkways where you're gonna to have to follow. And you just can't go up to the front of the palace and lay flowers. So it looks like here, there's a designated um, place in Green Park where flowers are being laid. Um, there you go, there's an example of what's going on here. And you can walk around and leave your flowers here, this part of Green Park, and read the rather poignant messages. So if you come through the Green Park entrance, you need to follow this side. It'll be up on the fences and that'll take you to the floral tribute area, which will be busy. <clears throat> so it looks like this part of Green Park is really where it's all happening. And all the floral tributes have been laid. And it's incredible. It's just absolutely incredible, the amount of people here and the amount tributes to the Queen um, in all different forms, um, some of them very ingenious and imaginative, um, but the people here that have come to show their respects is phenomenal. If you are a florist around St James's then you will be retiring next week, I can tell you that. <clears throat> this looks like a, what I can only describe as a tribute tree. So we have all the flowers festooned at the bottom of the tree and some balloons. Very imagi imaginative and creative um, royal parks wardens here to lay these flowers out in such a way that the messages get seen and um, read and the flowers look their best. I'm gonna see if I can get across Constitution Hill and then down the Mall, but I'm not too sure how far I'm gonna get. We'll go take a look. A couple of years ago, I was doing a job on a Sunday morning in my taxi. It was very early. And there were a lot of mounted cavalry troops in Horse Guards Parade. Um, I didn't know what they were doing. There were hundreds and hundreds of them. And I, I asked one of the policemen nearby, it must have been about five in the morning. And he said, they're rehearsing for the Queen's funeral. So I've already seen it in action. Um, and the preparation involved. Uh, it's an event that was rehearsed for maybe three, four times a year, and probably a bit more as the years rolled on. But I didn't know it was called Operation London Bridge until a couple of years ago, when someone who worked for the Royal Palace told me. This is the side of Clarence House. Um, and the crowds are still walking towards the mount, straight in front of me. 
and then in a few seconds we should be out onto the mouth and we'll find out what's happening there. Basically this is all new to me. Um, I've never seen the parks like this before in this configuration, um, which is quite understandable. And there was always going to be a huge change for a certain amount of days in London. And uh, you can see it very quickly. Okay, so as expected, the mall is shut and it looks like the public are being directed across the mall over to the south side of the mall. And then all the way over there, up towards Bird Cage Walk. Um, there is a lot of people here. I thought I'd come on a Monday thinking it would be quieter. How silly I was. So we'll follow the path around and then I want to make it down towards Westminster to see what's going on there. So just a bit of friendly advice if you're thinking of coming to London um, and paying your respects around the palace. The focal point seems to be in Green Park, where the floral garden is, where you can lay your tributes. There's nothing here you can put down on the Mall or in front of the palace by the look of it. There is so much going on here. Um, it's a shame that we can't use the Mall because that would take away so much of this union congestion. On a Sunday the park is closed and everyone can mill about on the Mall, however they please. But they've obviously decided for whatever reason, and I don't know that reason, that the Mall will be shut to pedestrians. Locked police here today. We'll leave will have been cancelled. We have three police forces in London. The Met Police, which is what these guys and girls are, the British Transport Police and the City, City of London Police. So yeah, three police forces in London. I think I'm going to head over there to St James's Park and see what's happening. Okay, made it to St. James's Park. Um, just going straight through the middle of it. We'll arrive to Birkage Walk on the other side. See what's going on here. Still plenty of people. Um, there are places to eat if you come here. Behind me have the Royal Parks, refreshment stands, and if you're thinking of coming, more importantly, toilets. Right there. Another tip for anyone coming to London um, over the next few days to uh, pay their condolences is don't drive. Um, London will still be easier to get around if you're walking. Um, there are some restrictions on the London undergrounds. For instance, today Green Park was shut. That's because of the sheer numbers of people using the station. So you'll have to go down to High Park Corner or Piccadilly. Okay, just coming out onto Birdcage Walk. Um, obviously, it is closed traffic. I know that, being a London taxi driver. So we have to make some huge details this week to get our customers to where they want to go. You don't normally see Birdcage Walk like this. There we go. So I'm walking along Birdcage Walk. I'm going to make my way into Parliament Square um, and then over to Westminster Hall, which is going to be a very um, important focal point from Wednesday onwards. 
Uh, today, the Queen is lying in rest at St. Giles's Cathedral in Edinburgh, if I've got that right. She was in the Palace of Hollywood this morning. The King has made his way up to Scotland, has given an address there about an hour and a half ago. Then on Wednesday morning, the Queen will be flown down to North Holt, will then be corteged into the centre of London, where she will lie in state in Westminster Hall. And that is where what is estimated so far as at least one million people will come to the hall to pay their respects. So I'm just gonna go and take a look at that part of the Palace of Westminster and see how it's set up and show you what to expect if you're going to make your way to London to pay your respects. These are satellite mad control areas that basically um, are running the whole operation. Uh, the communications go out, I guess. I mean, I'm not entirely sure, but um, a lot of this big event will be run from these, these stations here. Okay, just making my way into Parliament Square. St George's Street here is closed off, obviously, but the square is open to traffic, so you can go around it if you're driving. Remember, don't drive, because um, it'll be a complete pain for you over the next coming days. Use public transport if you can. Uh, okay, we know what's in front of us there. The Elizabeth Tower, and inside it, a bell to the Big Ben. And just over to the left here, some of London's most Instagrammed telephone boxes. And uh, yeah, you're getting a good amount of attention, as they always do. So I'm gonna cross my, I'm gonna cross over Parliament Square towards Westminster Hall. You can't walk over the grass. I think that's part just because the condition of it is just in such a bad state after such a dry summer. Um, and then we'll get a good look at the Palace of Westminster and see what's going on there. there we go. Lots of media here. The world's media all doing pieces to camera in front of the Palace of Westminster. Just walking alongside Westminster Abbey because this is where the funeral ceremony will take place and um, there's been quite a lot of stuff going along here and just opposite it looks like they've set up a seating stand I'll just show you in fact I'm not sure what that's going to be I don't think it is going to be for um, the public to sit or anyone to sit that's probably a media stand pretty sure that the world's media are going to have a presence there opposite the Abbey and um, film this very, very historical event because the entrance to the Abbey is there and the uh, tributes are just kind of everywhere, People are especially using Parliament Square to, to post the very arty designs of the Queen. It's lovely. And there you have it. The, um, the information posted on the Westminster Abbey board here. The state funeral takes place here on Monday the 19th of September at 11am. And the Abbey is now closed to visitors. Which is uh, understandable as there will be a lot of preparation going on. Okay, just turning the corner, the uh, Palace of Westminster on my left, and already I can see huge amounts of activity over there. Now this is Westminster coming up here on the left, where on Wednesday,
key there. Um, and I'm just going to tell you all that, this is that big one. there will be airport type security here. Um, if you want to come and visit uh, the Queen's Coffin at Westminster Hall. Now, you cannot use your phones to take pictures or videos or anything um, inside Westminster Hall. Where are you? You need to be dressed appropriately and at the same time you need to bring food and water if the weight's going to be, as some people think, up to 30 hours. So let's just go around this truck here. Yeah. Um, and a million people are expected to file past the coffin of the Queen inside the hall. Get out of this area here. I've been blocked off by all these wagons. Um, let's just come around to the hall. So I don't know how the um, queuing system is going to work. That's something I don't know about. Um, but it looks like everyone who enters Westminster Hall is going to have to come through this marquee through its security before they get into the hall and get to see and pay their condolences. Over here, this is where the press will be, and they always are, College Green. I've got to go round. And then, um, in fact, they're always here. Whenever there's a big political storm, the press hang out on the very famous College Green. So another place for the world's media. There you go, the world's media always get the best spots, don't they? Um, I don't, because my channel's just not big enough yet. So there we go, it looks like something's happened to the entrance there. It's all secure at the moment. And this is where the Queen will be lying in state as of Wednesday. Okay, I'm going to make my way back towards the Mall and up around the back of Pall Mall and see what's going on there. So just making my way up from Whitehall. We'll be passing Downing Street soon, the home of our new Prime Minister, Liz Truss, our third female Prime Minister. So just coming up to Downing Street on the left, which is always um, a destination of focal interest, not just for the people in London, but for the whole of the world. And there we go, the gates are shut, and there'll probably be some media up on the left there. Um, Lots and lots of wonderful security, which we have, and there is a vehicle coming out now. Perfect timing, perhaps it's the Prime Minister. We will wait and see, we don't know. You never know. Yeah, the guys have got the gates ready, and it's opening up. It could probably be an MP, maybe a front bencher if we're lucky. Maybe the Chancellor, who knows. There we go. We can see. Uh, there we go, it was a man, it was a man. Definitely a male. A male MP maybe, but we don't know. Amazingly, our child born two Sundays ago has already lived through two British Prime Ministers, two monarchs, but surprisingly, only two Chelsea managers. It's strange. Okay, um, just outside the back of Horse Guards Parade, there is a tribute going on here. This line the horse blue. Let's see what's happening.
There you go, a little bit of pomp and pageantry, something that London is very famous for. Okay, just coming up to Trafalgar Square now, and um, do a left turn through Admiralty Arch, and make our way in, <coughs> excuse me, into the mound. We'll see if the arch is open, see if we can actually walk through it. The roadways are clear now. Um, and they will have to be. Um, in fact, if I go over the other side, I can show you the London nose. One second. So, maybe only four days ago, this side of the arch was closed, but is now open, which it has to be. Um, like I said, Admiralty Arch is now a hotel well will be a hotel and this side of it was closed because they were digging out the ground underneath the arch uh, to make way for a huge ballroom okay so we're coming up to the London nose which is one of my episodes you can just see it over there I'll film it separately hang on this is quite small and there's some good stories behind the existence of this nose on the pillar okay lots of people are it and they haven't noticed it. But there you go. There's the London nose. I guess a lot of you have been to the London Eye. Well, if you come to Admiralty Arch, you can see the London nose. And if you watch one of my episodes, you'll be able to find out everything about it and why it's there. Okay, onwards and upwards. You've got all this equipment coming in to build these these camera towers here and will be dotted along the mall. Um, I should think they'll there'll be more than one and they take time putting up that's for sure. All these walls above Waterloo Place are being boarded up which makes me think that um, you can look in certain parts of the mall at certain times. Maybe that's when they're rehearsing. I'm not sure, but they haven't done a great job of it. Maybe it's not finished yet. And then down to Waterloo Place, and then there's another command and control center. You can kind of see through this one. It looks like the police are in there. This is where the operation is basically, well, the nerve center of the operation, Operation London Bridge, is controlled from. And I guess you need all these different places to keep, to keep the whole operation running smoothly. Just walking past the Athenium Club and they've got these huge black ribbons cascading down from the tops of the pillars which is a nice tribute. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed that walkthrough of London today, just to give you a flavour of what to expect if you are thinking of coming down to London during Operation London Bridge. Uh, please carefully consider if you're going to come down and visit the Queen as she's lying in state as that will be a long day for you and a real commitment. Um, you're going to have to show yourself to be pretty durable to get through 24 hours of waiting or queuing. So think long and hard about that. If not, just come down. Um, I've given you a good idea of the places you can visit. The atmosphere, well, it's sombre but there's a celebratory feel about London at the same time and it's wonderful to see these crowds here. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this London walkthrough and stay tuned.